Hey everyone, Jenny Streeby here, and today I'm gonna to be using all Redken products. This is in their new dry texture line, right? So we have our dry shampoo paste, our dry texturizing spray, and then we actually have a dry shampoo powder to play around with. And I wanna go ahead and mention for any of you hairstylists out there that want more intense education from me, definitely check out my app. Let's go and get started because we're gonna create a cornrow ponytail for you guys. Okay, to start this look off, we're gonna create a small like profile section down the center of her hair here. So this is where our cornrow is gonna go. You wanna make sure that it's nice and even and balanced on both sides. I like using a tail comb for the sectioning, that way you can get it nice and straight. Okay, so once you have your good section, we're gonna clip away this just for a second. And we're gonna comb down the hairs on the side and clip it away. That way that really helps us allow us not to get some of those flyaways into our cornrow. So we're gonna take a duckbill clip and just simply clip it on both sides. Now we're gonna release our clip. I'm gonna turn her around and the product we're gonna be featuring is the dry shampoo paste. What that's gonna really allow me to do is smooth down the cuticle as we're working with it. And then it also gives it some grit and texture to make the braid look a little fuller than really skinny. So I'm gonna turn her around and I'm actually gonna have her put her head back. I'm gonna get my dry shampoo paste ready. I like to put some on my hand here just so I have it ready to go when I need it. So I'm just gonna take this and kind of emulsify the paste, putting it in my fingertips. Okay, so now we're gonna take a small piece of hair on top, divide it in three sections using a little bit of our paste in there. And we're gonna start a really small micro braid. Okay, we have our three sections. We're gonna go underhanded, grabbing on a tiny bit of hair here taking this section, moving under, okay? And I like to reposition, get it nice and tight. Now I'm gonna grab onto that middle piece. Now on the left, we're gonna grab a little bit of hair over here, adding it to that section. That whole section is moving under into the middle. We're back over to our right, grabbing some hair into the middle. You never want to let go of your sections and we're just going to work the same pattern until we get to the crown of the head. never want to let go of your section and you're just moving it right to left making sure that you take about the same amount of hair from each side and see how I'm kind of holding the hair down to make it nice and tight position it that way and then never letting go of a section the left side taking it up grabbing this hair pulling it tight and going right to left Now that we've gotten to the crown of the head, I'm just gonna continue with the three strand braid technique, but we're not gonna add any more hair. Now we're just gonna go ahead and underhand braid. Again, using the dry shampoo paste in there, our sections to keep those guys together.
Okay. Now we're getting close to the end. So when we get to our ends, we're just gonna go ahead and secure it with a hair elastic. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and create our high pony. So I always think of it like you wanna create a high pony almost at a slight angle from the top of the ear to the crown. So not super high in the middle, but just a little at an angle. So with that, we're gonna take some of our dry shampoo paste. And now we're going to go ahead, emulsify it and apply it on the sides of her hair. And then we're gonna comb it the same direction as we're gonna create our high pony. So get it in there nicely. So combing, and then I still have some of that paste on my hands. So it's just gonna smooth that cuticle down. So we're using our dry paste back here, dry shampoo paste, going through, really pulling it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush and just get in there, really over directing it on both sides. Once you get it where you're gonna create your high pony, then you're gonna go back in with the fine tooth side of your comb and really get in there and comb it towards where you're gonna create that pony. Okay, she's gonna go ahead and tilt her head back a little bit more so it naturally kind of falls where I need it to go. And basically for this, you're just over directing the hair where you're gonna apply the pony. Okay, once you get it where you want it, we're gonna secure it with a hair elastic. All right, so we want this ponytail to be pretty kind of high. So what we're gonna do is take that end of our cornrow and we're actually just gonna wrap it around our hair elastic. So you can see, we're just gonna simply wrap it around And then we're gonna bobby pin it into place. And we're just gonna take our bobby pin here and go through the actual braid and then pin it behind going towards our hair elastic. Now we're gonna spread that hair out. Okay, we're gonna use some dry shampoo powder in there to really create a lot of fullness into our pony. So we're simply going to just lightly kind of dust it almost, just a little bit. This is gonna create a lot of volume. So I'm just gonna kind of rub it in there. That's gonna create our fullness. We're gonna go ahead and pull this top layer up. using some of the triple dry 15 in there. And then teasing it. Kind of doing that just a couple inches closest to our base. And then you wanna make sure that you're not seeing any of those flyaways or frizzies. So now, after you get it where you want it, my little tip to you guys to make this stay up all day along with the dry texture spray is actually a bobby pin. You just wanna go ahead and place that right in the middle here, a couple of them. That's gonna help stand up the pony. So I'm gonna do one there. And then another one behind it. Okay, take that hair, kind of fluff it up over tease the area around that bobby pin. All right, so there you guys have it, a fun cornrow ponytail. I'm gonna go ahead and mention that you can also create a fun top bun by simply just 
pulling it into a bun, wrap it around that hair pony and bobby pin it into place. So there's a lot of options with this fun look. The key is to really have that nice texture to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And for more intense educational videos, if you're a hairstylist out there, definitely check out my app, Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'll see you soon.